Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is the book experience with Shadana. And today, we are chatting about making story time a learning opportunity. Every moment can be made a learning opportunity with your children. Also with ourselves too, there's much we can learn from children and children's books. So today, the children, I'm gonna be talking about a children's book and it is this one. It is called The Good Shepherd by Gary Varvel. And I am actually going to read this book to you so that you can hear the lessons in this short children's book. Because the Bible says we're supposed to train up our children in the way they should go. So using every moment we have to teach them is a brilliant way to do that. And story time is one of those ways where your children will enjoy learning. So, without further ado, here is The Good Shepherd by Gary Varvel. Once there was a good shepherd who cared for his sheep. He watched over them when they were awake or asleep. He led them to green pastures and to cool waters when they thirst. He led them to shade when the sun's heat was the worst. He led them through the desert and the winter snow. He even led them where they didn't want to go. The Good Shepherd said, just follow me. I'm your best friend. I will lead you to a place where life will never end. But one sheep loved the world and just wanted to play. So she stopped following the Good Shepherd and just wandered away. She went on a trip to see what she could find. And her little baby followed close behind. They climbed to the top of a great big hill. The scene was so pretty, it gave them a thrill. Then suddenly in the thicket, the sheep heard a sound, where the eyes of a snake looked from the ground. Without the good shepherd, they were both scared stiff. Then the little lamb stumbled and fell off the cliff. The mother sheep ran to the bottom of the hill. She cried and cried as her baby laid still. The snake slithered down toward the lamb that was dead. But the good shepherd appeared and crushed the snake's head. Then he picked up and held the lamb that had died and hurried off with her mother close by his side. He carried the lamb's body to a fast moving stream then crossed over the water as if in a dream. When he stepped on to the shore, he gave a command. Then the sheep sprung to life and danced in the new land. The lamb's mother bowed her head and cried. She was sorry for not staying close to the good shepherd's side. Please forgive me, she said. I shouldn't have strayed. Then the good shepherd replied, Your debt has been paid. As sure as the sun rises and crosses the sky, all things that have life sooner or later will die. But only the Good Shepherd can take us to the place where life never ends and we see him face to face. One of the lessons you can teach your children and learn yourself from this story is that you have influence whether you realize it or not and people will follow and copy what you do. So you have to be careful what example you are setting. Another lesson that can be learned from this story is that when we are believers we follow the Good Shepherd and when we stray from his direction trouble is never far behind. So if we follow the Good Shepherd, no matter how it looks, the Good Shepherd will take care of us. And when we fail, the Good Shepherd is just to forgive us. 
So when we use life lessons to train up children as they should go, we're doing as God commands. And this is why I recommend stories like The Good Shepherd to help teach your children during story time. Or if you don't want to use story time, there are other opportunities, like when you're at the store, you can teach your children um, about money and how it's used as an exchange and how money is earned and where does it go. Because studies have shown that as early as six months, a child can understand what saving means. So God, God created us in a way where we're able to learn at such an early age and we need to take advantage of that at every opportunity that we get. So wherever there's a lesson to learn, use it to teach your children. And one day, when they get older, they'll look back on it and they'll remember those lessons and you'll be surprised when they're sitting with you telling you the lessons that you taught them. So this has been a book experience with Shadana, and remember, every day is a lesson, and there's always something to learn, and never live life secondhand, always experience for yourself. Have a good morning. Bye!